Go. The 1087 New Orleans has gone through an improvement this year. This is our largest uh, shave ice machine that we have to offer. It is made for high volume users. It features a stainless steel construction, also features a very efficient one-third horsepower motor, and then also has a three-blade shaver head that has been redesigned to be more efficient and less wear and tear on all parts. The improvements that we've made this year are in three phases. First of all, we're making it so it's going to be a much better improvement in appearance. We also have redesigned the shaver head so it will be much again more efficient with less wear and tear on parts. Now this shaver head will shave a 10 to 12 pound block in less than two minutes. And then the third improvement, we've gone and made it much more service friendly. So if anybody has to service the machine, it's a lot easier to get into to either service it or if you have to change blades, it's much easier to get to those. So now I'm going to have Josh, our new design engineer, explain some of these changes that he has made. Hi, I'm Josh Arter, the new design engineer for Gold Metal Products. And to speak on Pete's first point of appearance, if you notice, the new machine is all one piece front. Also, all of the operator's controls are directly on the front for uh, ease of reach. To speak on Pete's second point about the shaver head, we have reduced the size by 15%, which has also allowed us to reduce the size of the motor to be more efficient, drawing less current, using less power than previous models. Also, we have redesigned the belt tensioning system to minimize wear. The pulleys are now directly in line with each other and the motor is fixed in on the machine rather than pivoting like previous models. Also a new belt tensioner that pushes directly in on the belt allows you to adjust tension as your belt does begin to wear and also provides less shredding of the belt. As with previous models, the entire motor cover had all of the electrical components including switches hooked to it. With the new model, the cover is a standalone piece, all electrical is self-contained. So when removing the cover to service is much easier. Also serviceability, the parts that are used today are 75% of the service parts from the previous model. Therefore availability for the old model and the new model is no issue. To operate the machine, once the ice box has been released from the mold, you simply take it and place it into the ice hopper. Take the ice pusher, push it up to the back of the ice, pressing it into the shaver head. Then use the ice tensioner to snugly put tension on the top of the ice. Once complete, shut the door, and now you're ready to shave ice. Approximate position for shaving with the handle is halfway between 90 degrees. Once the door is shut, you're now ready to shave ice. You're simply going to flip on the on off switch, push the shaver handle in, ice will go into the bucket. If you notice, as I open the door while the machine is running, the motor shuts off. This is a safety feature to keep all operators from getting their hands in the area of the shaver blades. Here's the finest of the ice, definitely for the large users that want to do shave ice.